Cashel, the ancient capital of Ireland's Munster province, stands proud upon the glorious rolling pasture land known as the Golden Vale of South Tipperary. Cashel, or the City of Kings as it became known, was home to the High Kings, who ruled for centuries from the magnificent site of the Rock of Cashel until the arrival of the Normans in the 12th century. Situated overlooking the town and encircling plain, the iconic Rock of Cashel is one of the most spectacular tourist attractions in Ireland and one of the most visited. Today, the community of Cashel is paving the way towards ensuring that Cashel Town is accessible and welcoming to all by introducing the Gold Star Disability Initiative. By encouraging simple measures to be taken, everyone will benefit from what Cashel has to offer. Cashel has witnessed some truly remarkable events that have helped shape modern Ireland evidence of which can be seen among the many sites of historical interest. The Rock of Cashel rises majestically from the encircling plain of the Golden Vale. This limestone outcrop has the most complete Romanesque church in Ireland, a 13th century Gothic cathedral, a 12th century round tower, and an exquisitely restored 15th century Vicar's Choral. The Rock of Cashel is a unique heritage site and it is universally recognised as having one of the world's greatest collections of medieval art and architecture. It is here that the original St. Patrick's Cross can be seen. There is so much to experience within the historic walls of Cashel. Cashel's rich history is reflected in its built heritage from ring forts to medieval monasteries, tower houses to fine palaces, and a universally accessible 21st century library which holds regular exhibitions, workshops and concerts. The Georgian Quarter boasts a Georgian cathedral with an organ built by Samuel Green, organ builder to the kings. In the nearby Bolton Library, you can find the smallest book in the world. A short distance away, St. Mark's Famine Graveyard is a solemn reminder of Ireland's dark past. Recent work in this cemetery allows us to see the names of some of our Cashel ancestors who died during this time. The Town Hall is home to Cashel's tourist office, where an MP3 player with a multilingual audio tour is available to use while exploring the town and its surrounding attractions. The tourist office houses the Heritage Museum, where a replica of the town as it would have looked in the 17th century is on display. Cashel was then a recognised city, with a series of royal charters dating from this period. Two originals can be seen in the Heritage Museum. You will also be offered the chance to download the audio tour of Cashel on your own iPod, MP3 player or smartphone. The linked walking tour is well signposted and offers an interesting walk around the historic town centre. There are two other cultural centres worth a visit that will appeal to young and old alike. The Brew Brew Cultural Centre at the foot of the Rock of Cashel is home to the study and celebration of native Irish music, song, dance, theatre and Celtic studies. A visit to the sounds of history subterranean chambers, which echo to the story of Ireland from ancient times to the present day, is well worthwhile. Cashel Folk Village is a delightful series of informal reconstructions of various traditional thatched village shops, houses and other businesses. A museum in the Folk Village holds memorabilia of Ireland's past and evokes an era of Ireland's triumph over hard times. 
All these sites and more are within walking distance of the town plaza, the vibrant hub of downtown Cashel. While all areas of Cashel are not yet entirely accessible, all practicable efforts are being made to ensure that universal access will ultimately be achieved, with newly paved footpaths and ramped access where possible to all the major tourist sites. Cashel also has a rich cultural tradition. The county has produced champion hurlers and internationally acclaimed musicians alike where indigenous pottery and crafts are made alongside locally produced, award-winning, globally recognised food brands. The town of Cashel offers something to suit all tastes. For the leisure walker, there are some gentle walks and trails ideal for a family day out. In particular, the 56 km long Tipperary Heritage Way Walk, which follows the river shore, tracing the ancient route which ran from Cashel to Ardmore, County Waterford. Activities such as horse riding and fishing provide an excellent way to enjoy the scenery and for a challenging round on a full-size championship course, Dundrum House Hotel will satisfy golf enthusiasts. Cashel has a wide range of accommodation from the sumptuous Queen Anne Cashel Palace Hotel to a range of family-friendly B&Bs and welcoming hostels for the adventurous budget traveller, with accessible accommodation options also available. Cashel also provides a variety of award-winning restaurants for food enthusiasts. People travel long distances to the renowned Shea Hans, considered one of the best in the country, serving locally produced food in a renovated Mennonite church. Cashel's Victorian Town Centre is a thriving retail zone with charming shops and lively cafes and pubs oozing with old charm where the town's rich sporting links are displayed. Ireland's world-renowned hospitality can be experienced in any of its bars and pubs and a pint of Guinness can be enjoyed in the town where you could say it all began. Some say the ancient hop tree in the Palace Hotel's grounds was the original from which Arthur Guinness developed his famous brew. Cashel offers something for everyone with its ideal central location made easily accessible by a world-class road infrastructure, Cashel is no more than one hour from Cork or Limerick and two hours from Dublin. If you want to see both the old and modern Ireland, visit Cashel. Once you arrive, you will be immersed in history, culture and native sports. The only question is, when will you ever want to leave? Thank you.